Now there's two types of bottles. Pop tops. Notice there are no threads, only a lip. These can be purchased from a homebrew supply store or recycled from used Sam Adams bottles, Sierra Nevada bottles, or any other store-bought craft beer bottles. On pop-top bottles, use an uncrimped cap. These caps can be purchased inexpensively at your local homebrew store. A bottle cap crimper will be used to apply these caps. Screw tops. Notice the threads. Typically, these come from recycled Bud Miller and Coors bottles. I personally like to recycle my, my Bud Miller Coors bottles, and the caps can be reused as well. Simply open the beer by unscrewing the cap. Do not pry off the cap. If you are unsure if your beer has a screw cap, look for a confirmation somewhere on the cap. Clean the cap, dry it, then store it away. Both types of bottles can be reused over and over. Screw caps can also be saved and reused over and over, if cared for properly. Pop tops cannot be reused. They are one-time use only. Warning! Do not try to crimp a pop top onto a screw top bottle. The bottle will break. Place the cap on the bottle. Align the crimper onto the cap. Press down on the handles until it locks. Do not press down past the lock point or you will damage the capper. To test the seal, carefully turn the bottle upside down. Now the screw caps are easy to apply. Place the cap on the bottle. Align the cap and screw it on straight. To test the seal, carefully turn the bottle upside down. Now what I like to do is just a precaution, is just get yourself a rag, wet, dry, it doesn't matter. The rag will give you some extra grip to secure the caps into place. As you can see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven six packs and a five pack. From a five gallon batch, that's 47 12 ounce bottles and four eight ounce sample bottles. This is about average for a five gallon batch. And done. Now all we have to do is put it in a couple of boxes for storage and throw it in a dark place for about two weeks. Do not store your bottles in the fridge during bottle conditioning. This will cause the yeast to go dormant and you will get flat beer. After about a week, go ahead and test it. Wait another week. You'll be happy you did.